Hello everyone, welcome to the new series of uh, videos uh, about watercolors. Uh, watercolor is one of the most difficult techniques of painting um, uh, and uh, demands a uh, lot of precision and um, and uh, you know, um, courage also and the gesture movement and and also the uh, kind of um, speed it depends what kind of aquarelle you do we will start with the kind of wet technique uh, which uh, first of course what you do uh, you have seen uh, first you wet the paper the best if you want to prolong a little bit the time and also not necessary to stick with the tapes the paper around on the board is the best to wet the paper from both sides because in such way the paper is going to stick by itself to the surface of the board so um, you will have uh, uh, you know some time to really uh, you know work work and in peace without worrying that you know some parts get drier or whatever it just simply prolongs the possibility of uh, mm, color application and playing a little bit with the uh, with with it and um, because the surface is going to be um, kind of wet for a little bit longer than you would normally do because normally when you stick the paper and um, with the um, uh, tape to the board you have to spray time to time water if you need a little bit much more wet surface whatever and it also what it does is just deformates a little bit the paper especially when you have paper which is uh, you know medium quality um, uh, and very thin it might get you in some kind of trouble so this technique is <clears throat> you know there are many techniques I'm going to show you uh, at least few of them in these videos but uh, first is the wet one what it, how it works that you just wet the paper as you saw it and then uh, layer by layer you just add the colors slowly and you observe the object I took just the apple to just kind of you know my intention is not to get hyper realistic in this case just show you the um, way of working of course if you spend some more time and much more attention and you have uh, and hair dry where you can you know certain parts when you consider ready slightly speed up the drying process and um, uh, it 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 would you know um, in order to finish if you see something it's okay and don't want to rework or something you just might use the hair dryer and um, to um, speed up the drying a little bit in this particular area but um, the wet the technique and in principle is not using the hair dryer and dryer necessarily it's just you know on the wet surface you try to add colors uh, manipulate them in certain way even take it off uh, some of them when I'm gonna show you at the end of this video a little bit so oh. um, as you see I am applying gently slowly and when the surface is wet you could see how nicely the colors actually you just put some color uh, add with the brush a little bit the forms you need to have much more intense dense but the color itself it nicely spreads because the surface is wet so you you, you receive you you're getting kind of you know nice um, soft touch and uh, and this kind of aqua is much more artistic way of doing and um, and it just giving impression of reality in a certain way um, uh, this is a very good technique also to do uh, you know flowers uh, even portraiture in architecture urban landscapes paysages that's a lot of uh, artists use this kind of technique because you can mix colors you can just kind of of course you have to know something about mixing colors also so to those of you who really like aquarels um, and um, you know um, you need to uh, a little bit study first color mixing so when you paint in direct you will have less trouble to think well, how I can get this color or this color or this color so uh, you don't lose the time and at the same time you're using the wet paper in order to uh, you know uh, go ahead with it 
Uh, the brushes, for example, the best paper, of course, is the Arch paper, um, Arch paper, but it's extremely expensive. But it's worth it, of course, when you start selling your aquarels, you can as well use this paper um, because it pays um, <coughs> the effort. Uh, brushes needs to be very soft. The best you work with very soft brushes, and um, and you have to have a few of them large, smaller, pointy, and, uh, uh, you know, all kinds of, uh, because it depends on what you do, some brushes add to special effects, it's easier to make it than with just having one brush. Those brushes with the selling with the aquarel complex, that's just a joke, because um, those are too teeny tiny, too small, and it's just, this kind of brushes you use only when you really want to do like kind of super hyper detail and uh, aquarels when you work uh, actually almost on dry paper and you just wet little, so kind of illustration uh, aquarels. Uh, so it's of course, um, all, of, all of it is question of um, um, preferences of course um, and what you what you want to do but I think the, the, the most fun you have when you walk uh, really with wet paper and everything is wet and you just kind of this kind of research you're never sure what you what you're gonna get of course you have certain insurance because as you do this a lot you only really develop certain experience and knowing what happens when you do this or those or do this or something else but and it will be much easier for you then but um, at the beginning you should actually experience you know uh, touching here and there and try to really you know as you look at the object you, you, you paint try to really be as close as possible in tones and in kind of impression of uh, of the of the in, in, in my case is the apple uh, so as I said I am not intending to do kind of super hyper realistic apple at all it's just kind of showing you approximately you know how you could how you how you how you, you, you can try to walk and on your own and, and uh, experience the wet paper technique of course it's um, this is just apple simple thing uh, but uh, I will show you some other landscapes and other you know subject how you can do in portraits even in, uh, in aquara so they demand a little bit in different uh, you know my, my mean the approach is the same it's always wet paper and everything but um, uh, it's, it takes more time, it's much more time consuming and especially in portraiture. Um, there's a special gamut of colors you have to use in order to get as close as possible to the skin um, uh, tone. To, so this is kind of, you know, uh, uh, as I said, the, the, there are certain colors I'm going to mention to you. You will try with them to mixing them and everything. But uh, don't forget, really, if you want to get um, somewhere, you need to really um, practice the mixing of colors. And uh, of course, um, first thing, the best is to, um, before you start doing, uh, let's say, like in this case, the apple, what I would do, uh, I would suggest you to do is simply first uh, prepare your wet paper. You can use even cheaper paper to just because you're gonna just first try, you're gonna experience a little bit how it works. And first, you just learn a little bit the object, uh, learn the top colors, the tones you will apply, and everything. And then you could go a little bit much more, you know, further. So, um, uh, and after, when you just, you know, you do practice one, two, three, you see how it works, after you can go and, um, and um, you know, and try to do it a little bit uh, uh, much more uh, to the perfection. Uh, I mean perfection, relative perfection, because it depends what kind of style, of course, you want to get. Uh, I, I went for some kind of, you know, this is kind of, Typical, you know, wet paper, you know, uh, aquarel. So I am really just 
you know, touching with a little bit much more dense uh, pigment, the wet parts, and um, and in, especially in wet wet aquarelle, you have to act fast because, um, um, of course, there is possibilities always to 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 you know rework certain things and and uh, make it. Um, uh, always better correct certain things if you like um, but um, it's all depend of course what you want to achieve in your uh, in your uh, painting how far you want to go so um, in this one I'm just uh, showing actually the apple you see is almost it's kind of ready you know but I'm gonna go a little bit farther with it to just sh for one reason I'm gonna show you something what you could do in case uh, something is, you know, uh, uh, you go too far with something, or 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 eventually you want to do some kind of um, much more details in the apple itself, in the skin, some kind of lines, some kind of that. So here yeah, I'm gonna just, uh, you know, uh, uh, it, the apple could be already done, and I sh I, I don't have to go farther with it, but I, will, I decide to make a little bit darker the apple itself even in the uh, lower part to get much more impression of what I see um, because in the apple I was looking at is much more darker and um, you know the surface of the skin in the lower part so I'm gonna do this uh, the same and just just simply now is the question of you know trying yourself what you're gonna get <laughs> by doing this so uh, uh, you know you never know you might destroy the apple or you might make it better but uh, that's what I like about aquarels because there's always kind of uh, surprising part sometimes okay uh, especially when you um, don't copy aquarels but you really paint an object which you expose and you try to figure it out what is the the color what are the colors and everything and and how you can make it you know uh, 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 either better or different uh, so or more artistic or less artistic or more realistic or less realistic so this kind of trainings uh, actually you can train to paint a coral uh, on on only one apple one fruit which you could uh, you know paint and many times uh, turn it a bit there uh, here and you can paint it in many different uh, angles and um, and uh, you know many different angles and uh, and uh, uh, even gum of colors and everything you can have uh, you know, one apple which has all kind of colors from it's like kind of yellow, greenish, red. So you just turn the apple, and sometimes you have more red, sometimes you have just red, uh, yellow, and greens, and it depends how you turn the apple. So this kind of apples are very interesting to to paint for 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 practicing painting, and um, especially aquarelle because you could kind of use one and you can do few of them. You know, or you can even imagine you have one apple, but you can imagine two, three different apples together on the paper. But each apple, each time you draw the next apple, you just turn the apple in different sides, so you have slightly different uh, coloration. Um, uh, you know, uh, gam of colors to use and everything to search. So. Um, um, one thing uh, is very important in this video is I'm going to uh, talk about all kind of uh, techniques uh, using wax, using scratching, using uh, a dry, uh, very detailed uh, aquarels and, and everything. So this is just kind of first. I started with the wet paper because it is actually, to me personally, is only one kind of aquarels, wet paper aquarels. That's the 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 the, the, the paint uh, mastery you show if you do in wet paper. Because all the dry, semi-dry aquarels, those are illustrative kind of work, and it might be highly hyperrealistic and uh, in a lot of details. And this is also mastery of medium and everything. But um, uh, believe me, the best is if you want to show that you master in aquarelle, you, you should uh, master the technique of wet 
um, work paper aquarel. So, um, but of course, aquarel is used not only in this uh, wet, uh, wet uh, uh, no uh, paper technique, but aquarel is used also semi-dry, half-dry, and um, and illustrative way when you buy leather strokes and everything, gently, gently. The good thing about aquarel that he has kind of transparent pigments. Uh, so what is good about that you can actually work with layers and one layer on top of the other you can actually you know um, do um, uh, very precise work and very detailed work okay so that's uh, something really that's a medium who allows you to you know um, you know manipulate to a certain degree it's not always easy it depends what you're using what kind of paper you have if you have really a very good quality of paper and uh, aquarium boards are the good ones because you can actually manipulate a lot with water without deformating the paper too much and everything so um and those papers allowed you to apply all kind of other techniques on top you can use the Arab Arab go, go for uh, you know blocking some whites if you need them to be always there, um, so the paint doesn't spread to those areas. If you if on wet wet paper is a little bit difficult, this you have to be careful where you put the pencil and what density of paint in order not to make um, the color get to the white places. You want them to stay. Uh, you can always suck out some of them, as I see now, you see, I, with the wet brush only, I am trying to do kind of a uh, little bit lines, some kind of additional effects on the apple. Um, you can do this, of course, uh, if you, you know, make kind of very teeny tiny note, um, a, a note of, um, uh, from the paper, either towel paper or Kleenex, you can actually uh, make even uh, points or whatever there you can take it off a little bit the color with the wet brush only all the time when you do this you have to clean the brush you can just repeat the strokes with the same brush because you're just actually not going to take anything out you're just going to make much more dirty and everything so to a certain degree in the aquarelle you can correct uh, uh, your mistakes you know or you can add some additional effects this is just to a certain degree um, this medium allows you to do so uh, if you know how to and everything but uh, in general you should rather uh, not count on it because not all uh, not always uh, things uh, might be easy and you might you know very easily destroy your painting by either adding the wrong color or um, you know um, uh, taking for granted that you always can can take some color off of course there is you can, you're going to tell me that there is a white you can put over and everything but that's not to me it is not aquarelle aquarelle is the mastery of leaving the white of course uh, without using any white i don't know what for the whites are in the complex because some companies put in the aquarelle the white which is which is not either even good you can't cover anything with it um, so i don't know for the, what reason they are putting there but you know it's i don't really argue with this and um, you don't use the white really uh, paint white paint on aquarels unless you do illustrative work when you really work like the half uh, dry uh, technique and everything and you work on uh, very elaborated details and everything then you can go and you can you know uh, of course do some lights with white and everything but for this uh, thing you better buy you not use aquarel white but you you buy the white salmon uh, san martin white which is extremely opaque and you can actually use it or you can use also china marker white where you could you know uh, 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 some areas you could gently you know and strongly whatever is the case uh, in, in necessity you can add um, uh, some uh, um, you know uh, lighter or white uh, uh, effects um, but the best is of course as I said better to do such way so you don't have to use those additional uh, uh, you know uh, 
uh, tools um, and tricks. Uh, so um, uh, it's uh, you know very important also um, what kind of brushes you have because buy really aquarel brushes. The, the, the aquarel brushes are extremely soft and flexible, but brush you have to try because you know hard dry brush is not good. Um, the too soft is no no good either. You have to have a brush which is uh, soft and flexible, but it's keeping the paint on on the brush itself. So as you're gonna look at those videos slowly, I'm gonna introduce you to many many things. But this is just a fancy kind of practice. You can practice on your own. Try take another apple you don't have to repeat my apple but you have to you can just uh, uh, try to get uh, less or more the same the same way so it's kind of you know artistic perception of the apple It's not realistic and, and as, I, as I mentioned at the beginning my intention wasn't to do super hyper realistic but I'm going to show you how to do much more you know uh, uh, realistic uh, across but um, uh, that's going to be in the other videos which will follow. So until then I wish you a good practice. Enjoy the aqua because it's a beautiful medium. See you. Bye bye soon.